Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Femina and this is The Fun Fab Life. So it's been a while since I've posted a long form video. I've been posting shorts all through Christmas and some in January, but I wanted to get back on here and just kind of hang out with you guys and let you know what's been going on and what's new for this year and um, kind of a life in review or a year in review of what has happened last year. So I've been toying with this idea of giving you my full process of how I do my life in review and make it a series. And I want to start with a year in review. I tend to do this almost every year. There's been a couple years where I've skipped this, but for me, I feel like it really helps me understand what I accomplished last year and not really accomplished, but what I did, because um, if you see like, if you've been part of this channel, you know that I tend to forget things that you, things that I've done. And at the end of the year, it's nice to recap everything that I've done. And it just feels like the year hasn't flown by. As part of the series, I want to do a year in review, a life audit, and then a intention or goal setting for the follow the current year. So let me know if you're interested, comment life and review in the comments so I will know. Um, this video, I wanted to do a year in review, so review my year from 2023. So when I've seen these videos on YouTube about reviewing the last year, it is a whole production. And as a busy mom, I just um, don't have that much time to kind of set aside and go over. And honestly, sometimes I forget when I set aside time for myself, I'm either relaxing or going to the spa or spending time with my daughter. So I just wanted to say you don't really need to set aside a long period of time to do this, but it helps to kind of when you're thinking about it, jot it down. So I did do this in about 30 minutes. Um, and I sat down and I made a list of everything that I did uh, last year. So I wanted to share that list with you and kind of talk about that with you guys. And so I just listed it down like this in a notebook. Um, I know last year and actually since 2020, I've been kind of rediscovering myself after being a mom and focusing on raising my children sometimes we as moms lose our identity we don't know what we like we um, don't have any hobbies and that's because all of our time is spent raising these little human beings and while that is awesome it is not awesome to forget who you are and what you actually like to do so since 2020 i've been rediscovering myself as my children have been getting older and kind of branching out into their lives themselves. So all of my children right now are in their teenage phase. So they have a lot more independence than when they were little, but that also means that I now have free time, which is amazing. But I wanna put that free time to good use by enjoying myself and not feeling like um, I, have, uh, I don't have anything to do. So I am, as you guys know, a full-time working mom. I do have a corporate job and since 2020, I've been focusing on what can I do or what, how can I spend my time outside of working and outside of being a parent. So um, all of these things on my list are um, reflecting that. So one of the major things that we did last year was build out my dream deck and patio. So this has been um, a dream of mine since we built this house 13 years ago. But at that time we were focused on the house and we um, didn't, that wasn't a priority. Well, last year it came up and it was a priority for me to have that built out in a beautiful way. And I will um, show it to you. You'll be seeing a lot of that this summer. So um, building out that luxury deck and patio, it has a fire pit and a grill, and it's just a lovely way to spend outside my backyard. And as you guys know, I love spending time in my backyard. So that was one of the major things that got accomplished last year, and I love it. Um, the other thing that I really focused my time on was hosting the 10 day gratitude challenge. And some of you guys love that. Um, we did a live version. I posted a 10 day gratitude challenge 
And it was all about appreciating what you have in your life right now or how to, um, what are the things you can do to appreciate what you have uh, asked for in your life. So whether that be um, your children, your house, your spouse, work, um, a lot of those things. So um, that was such a hit. I had um, a lot of you guys joined that and I turned that into a mini course. So if you want to do it or if you want to explore what that is, I'll leave a link down in the description box down below. So that was amazing and that is still the practice that I do today and it has helped my life tremendously. Um, the third thing that happened last year is I had, um, I did three girls trips and one family trip. So I love doing girls trip and that is a priority for the last um, four years or so. And so I went to California to spend time with one of my friends. We both had kids at the same time and she moved from here where I am in North Carolina to California and we haven't seen each other in quite a long time. So last year, we finally got our schedules together and I flew out to California and we spent a wonderful weekend today together, a relaxing weekend, and we spent time catching up, going out to eat, um, going to the spa, like everything. It was a wonderful trip. Um, the other girls trip I did was one with my mom and my sister and myself, and that is the first girls trip that we have taken girls only <laughs> and it was wonderful like i don't know why we haven't done that before and we're planning to do another one this year so it turned out really well we again went um i think the key here is to like go out somewhere so we did um kind of a weekend away at a um, all-inclusive uh resort and that worked out wonderful um we did take a family trip to Alexandria, Virginia, and that was wonderful. We also went to Hershey, Pennsylvania, and it was a road trip, but it was a really nice way to spend time with the family. Um, and then my last trip of the year was a trip to Texas. I went there for my sister's wedding, but also one of my girlfriends lived there. And um, she is also a YouTuber, so we hung out together, um, got a chance to go out to dinner and have a little catch up and um, it was surprising to me that she does not live that far away from my sister but it was a wonderful time to just fly out there and spend some time with her so that was i took a lot of trips last year <laughs> i wasn't intending to take that much but it all worked out really well and then um another one of my priorities was last year that I spend time with my girls as they're going into their teenage phase and really develop a close um, connection with them. So we did a lot of, and we still do that, still do this every night is we have tea time after dinner. And that is when we talk about things that happen in school or at work or what's going on in their lives because they're all in all sorts of activities now. And that is such a, a joy for me that is something we try to do almost every day um, there have been a few days where we skipped it but um, it truly is a moment of connection with the girls so I really enjoy that we also spent the summer going to farmers markets and doing picnics and all sorts of stuff like that so that is something that I do every day to uh, create that connection with my children and the last thing that I did was I took almost three and a half weeks off of work. Um, I don't know if you guys do that, but I do work a corporate job, so um, I don't hear a lot of people taking time off work, but I took almost all of December off and just spent time doing all of the holiday things. And this is the second year I've done that. And let me tell you, it is so relaxing to be out during the holiday season. And And what I usually do is I slowly ease back into the new year. So I spend it fully immersed in holiday and try to be present and enjoy the holiday season and do all the holiday things. We did cookie exchanges and building gingerbread houses and spending time with friends and Christmas and spending time with family and all of that stuff. So that was really nice for me 
and it's something I'm keeping in mind because I really like to take the end of the year off and then ease back in January. So as you can tell, I took a lot of time off and um, now I am ready to start the new year, so 2024. So that was my life in review. Um, I encourage all of you guys to do that and see if you are where you want to be. And if you're not, um, think about what can you do to create space in your life where you can make it happen. This did not happen overnight. There was a lot of um, mindset, shifts, mindset shifts that I had to make in order to be at this place I am right now, especially with the traveling, because I did not travel away from my kids when they were younger. Um, we took family vacations, of course, but I never actually went out by myself, um, leaving the family at home, leaving the children at home um, until 2017. I think that was the first time I left the kids um, and went off um, to spend birthday with one of my friends, but it was, it was chaos at that time. And it was a long time again until I went out for another trip. But now it's getting to be part of my yearly um, goal intentions is to spend time with my friends, especially as the girls get older and they are um, finding out who they are and things that they have to do. I feel it's very important for me to spend time outside with other um, with my friends. So that is a very high priority thing for me and we'll see how 2024 turns out. So uh, I'm gonna post another video in this series um, and I'm gonna do a life audit. Now I know a lot of people do a life audit, but to me that seems kind of like a year round review. So mine is a little bit different. So make sure you're subscribed and uh, turn on those notifications so you know when that video drops. It will be sometime next week. So. Stay tuned for that. Thanks for joining me and I'll catch you later. Bye.